Welcome back at 623. This time of year, our investigative unit and some state prosecutors say they're getting a long list of complaints from consumers who say they were ripped off by a contractor who took money and then did not deliver that home improvement project. Our Patrick Nelson shows us this morning how one district attorney's office in Colorado is focused on cracking down on these bad contractors. Making poor decisions when hiring a contractor can lead to huge financial losses. That's what prosecutors at Colorado's 18th Judicial District are concerned about. They sent out this advisory, hoping to let consumers know the risks and how they can hold contractors accountable if they've been the victim of a crime. Harvard research shows year after year for the last decade, people have continued to spend more money on home improvement projects. But in some cases, consumers find the person they hired for the job takes money and doesn't follow through. Jamie Sorrells, the director of consumer fraud protection for the 18th Judicial District in Colorado, sees these cases all the time. And for consumers, it's not always a simple process trying to hold contractors accountable. But they will go and file a complaint or try to. Often what the response is, is that this is a civil matter. Well, when it comes to contractor fraud, it can be civil, often it is, but it can also be criminal. If you pay a contractor up front, investigators say what happens next often determines if law enforcement will take on the case. No material ever is purchased or shows up, and there's no service done whatsoever. And you never hear from that individual again, or maybe there's a few conversations, but still, no service, no material. Well, that's, that's theft. Sorrell says these are the cases prosecutors are prioritizing and are looking to bring charges against bad contractors. But before a contractor is even hired, fraud experts say it's important for consumers to get multiple bids and to be critical of red flags. Some flags that you might see is, is a company that, that's relatively new, let's say. So, because what happens is when, it, when a, a contractor is involved in fraud, if they get closed down, they'll simply open up a new LLC. Every year, consumers who fail to do this type of research end up in bad situations. If they ask for full payment, then a lot of times what's going to happen is the, the unscrupulous contractor is going to, you know, do a couple quick things for you, you know, get you confident, and then they're going to leave and open up, you know, shops somewhere else after they've already cashed your check. The experts say working with a legal expert before signing a deal with a contractor offers an important layer of protection right off the bat. To get a look at this full advisory put out by Colorado Consumer Fraud Unit prosecutors here in Colorado, you can visit our website right now, koaa.com. I'm Patrick Nelson for News 5. All right.